it, it doesn't work. It should be one place yeah. where you can, what you can do is record anything or put any bit of information out there into this system. Yeah. And then that is automatically put to where it's needed. To the exact people. Exact people and where it should go. Yeah. And that, that's true AI. That is really the that's AI. It. That I see. I don't think that's a simple system. Uh, it's it's it would have to be a simple system, but it hasn't been created yet. I think to actually, actually branch everywhere. Can we just? I know we're going to yeah. mention it, but can we briefly mention the part the not privacy uh, privacy thing? Oh, okay. Because to do what you just said, I think, um, and this this is it needs to diminish privacy, like. Oh, okay, right. Also, oh, you've been transmitting everything. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm relating it back to the recommendation engine because I love that mm -hmm. idea so much. Like for you to be able to up to for you to be able to um, submit a piece of content to this the machine and for it to redirect it to exactly who are the most and relevant, what, yeah. the best people to answer that question or get that whatever piece of content, you want, whatever. whoever wants that content. Yeah. yeah. To do that, you need to know a hell of a lot about each individual on this planet. Yeah, you do. What. And to do that, you need to diminish privacy. You need to learn from those people. And that's what so, so many of the, the online services right now that are so awesome and doing so many cool things is they... Reduce privacy. <laughs> yeah, they reduce privacy. Well, they take... They look at your behavior... Well, this leads onto your location one. It does a bit, yeah. Um, okay. Well, I guess that's why location is so big at the moment. Yeah. Well, the, the mobile web at the moment is massively... It's going crazy. They, these guys are getting millions and millions of dollars. It's funny. There's just another Mashable article here saying how um, this company called Simple Geo, which actually creates, um, it gives developers the ability to add location-based features to their applications. They just got another $8 million in funding. Like, this is crazy. And you've got all these oh, other right. services. You've got, you got Foursquare's the, the big one, but apparently they don't have as many users as Google Attitude. Um, wow. Then you've got Brightkite, you've got Gawala, Twitter's releasing another thing soon. Okay. Um, even, yeah, well, yeah because it's already a sad thing, like GPS location on the photos that you upload. Yeah, right. Um, Facebook is also releasing a, a ge geolocational thing soon. Mm. And what's, be what's beautiful about this is, this is the start of the mobile web. This is the start of, um, you walk around, it knows where you are at what well, it's, time. It's the most basic thing, really, yeah. that I mean, your phone at the moment, the most basic information it can give is where is the phone at the moment. Yeah, and you yet don't that even is have to powerful. Oh, yeah, that's big. To show exactly where you are at exactly any given time. Yeah, and actually use that data to that actually is, work things out. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the whole why city using that, you could actually track everybody's movement around everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I don't care about the individual. I really don't. I care about yeah. the mass movements and seeing where they're all going. Imagine making that public and just... I could watch a flow of that, like projected onto the wall, just seeing <laughs> flows of yeah. people and where they work and what they do. Imagine doing business models around that or doing anything around that information. And you could, like... Um, you need, like, a small percentage to use actually, it Actually, here's well. a good idea. Oh, it'd be fun. Here's a good idea. The whole, um, <laughs> the whole thing of Facebook and all this, so, and even Google itself now, they're, what they're doing is actually tracking how you behave online and yeah. tracking your demographics and actually making better services based on that. I think As we move going. in the real world... We can start making cities better. For yeah, us. you can start tracking where people. We're only tracking where we go online. Why not track yeah. where we go in the real world and make it better that way? Yeah. Oh, dude. Like, okay, if you if you see that at a certain time on a certain day, a whole bunch of people go into this particular place or use a train yeah. or a, a public transportation service at a particular time, you can actually change the physical city and how it is structured yeah. to work better based around this I mean this is like, just the beginning I mean only a few people are using it now like probably less than a percent of a city but it's going to grow yeah. exponentially it's not going to just stay at this it's going to go that at all times you're going to know where each individual person is yeah. and you can structure things around that and you have to diminish privacy to do that well yeah, yeah. people have to be uh, to I, some I, extent to some you still can make like, it anonymous roughly but it, you wouldn't want to because you'd gain so much benefit by making it not anonymous because yeah. you could make your location anonymous that you just are a part of the tracker, but it's the same thing as being like on Facebook but being anonymous. It's well, see, it'll, I think it'll start the same way. Like, I, you, add, you already add friends to these things. That's the whole point. Yeah, true. So your friends can see where you checked in, and then eventually people will be adding more than just their friends, and it'll turn to the, the Facebook situation at the moment where mm. people have more than just their friends on there, and they don't want to really be sharing all the information, so you have yeah. the privacy shit. Still. It's, it's going to be interesting. I don't think it's going to be as simple as just everyone gives up everything. I think there's going to be some catalyst or something's going to happen. But I agree with you that it is going to end up with yeah. no privacy. I mean, there's there's too much to gain yeah. from releasing your privacy. Yeah. But there's going to be a... Con maybe not conflict, but there's going to be a catalyst, at yeah. least. I don't know. But that's fucking... It's great. <laughs> this is big. This is a great the, week. That's what the mobile web will maybe do. Rearrange the physical world 
Yeah, to based around this suit that and it's people just using the physical beginning. world. It's literally just beginning. Yeah. I mean, we're already at the fight for the platform. I mean, you named all of those, was it like there's eight different yeah. companies there? They're all fighting for the platform. We There's only going to be one. I have no there idea is who all only, only going to be one. Yeah, neither. I, I, it's, I'd be guessing. There are totally only like, you know, a few million users, so it's yeah. like, it's It's still really who's racing. just going to do the exponential thing. I, yeah. See, I still, there's still a possibility it's not going to be one of them. It's just going to be a well, new Well, yeah, well, I don't think check ins. Yeah, well, you were saying before, yeah. check-ins is Having weird. to physically check-in is stupid. Well, why not just automatically track? I mean, it already does it with yeah. Latitude and I, stuff. Yeah, I'd do that with Latitude. Well, see, that's why Latitude might win. Mm. they have Google Maps. They know exactly who's where But it's where still what Google map. Latitude. I, I, I don't like that. They should yeah. market it as something it's totally called, separate. They're not even Latitude. Call it geo nah. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Geotude. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll go into my story now. Uh, next one is... Shit, I totally forgot the three that I was going to say. Oh yeah, this one's actually kind of cool. This is a little bit separate. We, we mentioned a bit there. Um, why do you click like? What are you saying when you click like? And what are you saying when you say you don't like something or you downvote or you upvote? I've, I've never actually thought about that. That it's um, so... We've got millions of people using yeah. the same system all saying like or dislike or spam or bury and all of that. We're all just assuming that it means the same thing, but... I'm not sure that it does. I think there could be... I mean, like has obviously become the standard for it because it's easy to understand over a large group of people that, oh, yeah. I like this. I like this. That That's easy. Everyone is on the same platform. But it's, again, that whole thing that... I didn't actually... Like is a platform that... Yeah. Well, why, why, like, you like things that are far different from what I like and the same, all that around, but the word like doesn't really encapsulate it's it. It's semantics. It is. It's total semantics. We're, we're just trying to find a word that we can actually use to go there. And this is, um, this is off Reddit. Um, Reddit's awesome. They just have up arrows and down arrows. <laughs> I love it. Reddit's the bottom. <laughs> this is Reddit. This is Reddit. Reddit is awesome. awesome. <laughs> Narwhals. Bacon. T-shirts. No. No. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's, 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 a, great, <laughs> there's a great discussion about all of this here, and uh, it, it just really got me thinking that like has really taken over, but I've never thought... About, train! I like trains. Get it? Uh, like, uh, well, see, with, with 500 million users now, like, yeah, like, like you know, like, whatever. Like, whatever. But um, there's so many different cultures there, surely every it single... must mean something different to Every everyone. person, yeah, it must mean something different. It they must. must well, watching what uh, people actually like online, or one thing that I found interesting was um, a lot of my extended family, they're all on Facebook now, and my sister's going overseas. And uh, she just posted that she is, um, she's only got five days left in the country. Yeah. And then a lot of my extended family all clicked like. Now, it's not that they actually like that it's she's just, leaving the country. It was kind of that they wanted to say that, oh, I acknowledge this, and I hope you have a good yeah. time, and I hope you do this. I it's know, not yeah. that they liked her leaving. It's acknowledgement too. It was, because so much of that right now, especially yeah. on Facebook, and it comes back to it, that I want to acknowledge, I want to, it's a poke, kind of. I, I yeah. want to actually say that, look, I'm a part of your life, I acknowledge that you're leaving the country, but I don't want to actually write good wishes, yeah, I don't it, want to acknowledge that. It's not that. as much effort as, as a comment, but you, no. your name still shows yeah, up. Yeah, and hey, it does. Cool. And, and it's work. nice, like, I mean, if I was leaving the country, you. that actually happened. When I was leaving the country, a lot of people, like, clicked like as I was yeah. leaving. And that was nice. So it's very context-based, as is. well as being abstract. Yeah, this this like, idea of like is not simple, and I've only just really come to terms with that. I wonder if Facebook's actually done some psychoanalysis mm. on this stuff. Because another it's, thing, it, it can also mean agree, it can also mean, yeah. like, uh... I don't know. <laughs> so you, many you things. You, it's Empathy. Cool, you, like, I mean, yeah. I just broke up, <laughs> I just broke up with my boyfriend. Oh my god, I so want some ice cream. Catherine likes this. And it's like, it's not that she likes that you broke up with your... She likes the ice cream part. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's why I added that in after. But, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. that you, you'll notice in your feed that people like the most esoteric things. Just imagine how messed up it'd be if people had the uh, dislike button in there. I'm very glad they don't. <laughs> yeah, it'd be such a negative environment. Yeah, well, Zuckerberg, very smart, saying that no, no yeah. dislike button. So. That's a big thing. I think, uh, I hate to mention Facebook, but they, it's a convergence of culture. It is. Well, then it's well, all around this one... Half a billion people, all on this one page. Yeah. It's a convergence, because cause you get instant feedback. If you post something that the rest of the group doesn't agree with, you don't get any likes, you don't get any no. comments. But if you post something that the rest of the group does agree with, then you get lots of likes yeah. and lots of comments. Yeah, I'll say my top thing, I just loaded one right now. This guy's watching Good Newsweek, and two people have liked it. Yeah. And so it's kind of like, oh, well, I like Good Newsweek too, or like, I'm going to yeah. watch that. It's, it's The word like is totally changing.